Greetings, this is the Retromancer here, and welcome to another episode. We are going back to our monthly boxes, which I am happy to do. It's been a long time since I've been able to do these videos. As you can see, things have changed. Before, uh, we were dressing up with our uh, other gear, and uh, we were doing more of a steampunk things, but with the world changing around me, I realized that that just isn't the best optimal thing. So, we're just going to keep it relaxed, we're going to talk about the games as I open them up, and we're going to just enjoy the feeling of nostalgia of returning. And as that nostalgia returns, it feeds me, which is the Retromancer, I bring old shit back to life. So, we'll start with my favorite box, the um, Retro Game Treasure. Now, every month I get this, um, the amount you pay for one of these boxes is uh, around with shipping about $40. Now if you use my code CRIMSON, which will be located, um, you can get a 10% off your first box. Um, I've been collecting these for two years. I did take a break for a while due to moving and some situations, but uh, I did go right back to it. Now I did, I will tell you the best thing to do with these is to add as many consoles as you collect and if you don't collect a whole lot, like there for a while I was just collecting Nintendo and Sega, they didn't send me quite as much as I would like. Um, but when I started adding a couple other consoles, I noticed my boxes were getting thicker. So I would suggest maybe at least four. I think it makes you pick three. I would say four and make one of that one of them like a Game Boy, uh, Game Gear, something small. You will get more out of it by doing so. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Um, so with this box, now I already opened these, I know what's inside of them, so it's not a blind one. But uh, with this box, I had gotten, as I said, I, I picked Game Gear. I just recently got a Game Gear, and I picked, uh, I picked up um, the Lion King Gear Demon box, one of the more difficult games. The Game Gear version, the Sega version, and the Super Nintendo version are all known for its difficulty. Now... I haven't got the chance to sit and play this one again since I got it, since I got these boxes recently. But um, I do remember playing the Sega one and it was difficult. There's a joke going around as if you can beat the first stage, the jumping stage, you must be really good at old yeah. games. The next one I have received in the box is the Wheel of Fortune oh. game here. Um, this is the family edition. Now I have the older, the other edition. And pretty much all they did with these yeah. is they added new puzzles and stuff. But, but playing these are a little funny nowadays because the questions on here are still related to the time that they were made. So they're going to ask you some really silly things that probably do not exist anymore or the sayings are gone or the actors and actresses no longer really act. Um, we had some issues with a couple puzzles just because we didn't know anymore. And once we figured it out, we were like, oh... So if you wanted that rose-colored tint, this is a good one to get into because it's definitely going to get you a few things that you're just going to kind of think back to and go, that's right, that was popular back in the 80s and 90s. Um, the next NES game was Destination Earth Star. I had never heard of this one when I got it in the box, and after reviewing it and looking at it, I wish I still had never heard this game. This game needs to be on the Angry Video Game Nerd. It is a horrible little shooter game um basically there's a atari game that you played that was star track it was a star track game and you floated around and you had to look for these weird little uh, they look like um waffles and little weird little uh triangles and stuff so pretty much all they did was took that game and put it on the nes and upgraded the graphics extremely small amount which kind of stinks, because the other one was on the Atari. So, you would think they would be able to get it up higher, but no. It, it looks basically like that same game. And the last box, because you always get at least... I have always at least gotten four games in these, and sometimes I've gotten a lot more. If you watch one of my older videos down, on my, uh, down below, you will see that I got like eight games in one box at one time. The next one was one that a lot of people enjoy, is Captain America and the Avengers on the Sega Genesis. This is a nice little beat-em-up. If you want to walk around and you enjoyed like, um, it reminds me of um, Turtles in Time or, or um, any of those beat-em-up classics. 
this will be a good game for you. Um, it's made by Data East, which is a good company. Um, they make one of my favorite pool games, um, Side Pocket, is one that might, some people might know. And to show you inside the box here, it comes with a little saying on there, thanking you for getting the box. Um, and inside there's some little doofy things inside from, you might know from older video games. The box itself looks like a old treasure chest, an 8-bit treasure chest. Um, so I keep the boxes for storage. Um, I keep the boxes for looks, like I pile them up in a corner somewhere. So they look kind of neat sitting around as a little 8-bit treasure chest. That's what I got out of that one this month. The, um, the other box is new to me. This is Video Games Monthly. I decided to give this one a shot as well to see what the competition has. Uh, now, with Video Game Monthly, uh, George here is uh, our representative. Um, the, the stuff you get in this one is interesting because not only do they send you video games, but every month, every month they send you some kind of trinket with their symbol on them. Um, anything from stickers to yo-yos to bottle cap openers to t-shirts, uh, which it's a little extra flair on there, which I... I really like. Um, this month, they sent me their little extra flare was a bottle cap opener for a keychain. And you see their little logos on there. And um, another month, I had a friend get, um, what did he get? a poker chip and, and, and a whole bunch of random things. This, this is neat. This is a nice little add-on that, that you might not expect. In the box, they sent me, now I'll give them credit on something here in a moment. In the box, they sent me Street Fighter 2 Special Championship Edition. I am going to go on a little rant in one of my videos about the Street Fighter 2 video games and how there's so many of them that if you're a collector like myself, it makes you frustrated. Um, but this one, the Special Championship Edition, is nice because it includes all your bosses and stuff without you having to play the game and beat them and unlock them and, and such. It also included a couple extra characters. Um, it has one of my favorite characters on the cover in Bison. Um, it, it's, a, it's a fun little fighter game. If you don't know Street Fighter, um, I'm not sure really what to tell you at this point because it's one of those big iconic games. They sent me... Now, ain't much to look at on this one. This one's a Sega Master game. It's great football. Um, the Sega Masters is what came out before the Sega Genesis. wasn't real popular over here, but it was popular overseas. Um, Europeans loved the Sega Masters. Um, the cartridges all look like this. There's no images on them, just their name written in red, or sometimes they got different colors. Um, great football is a football game. I, I can't say much more on that one either. Uh, well, 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 we're back to the Lion King again. This time on the Super Nintendo, which means the only one I'm missing is on the Sega Genesis. Um, again, it's basically the same thing as the, the little one I got in the other box. Um, the graphics are a little different because you're looking at a, a Game Gear, which graphics are beautiful, but uh, it's still, you know, a little weaker than our Super Nintendo. Um, so if you're a Disney Lion King fan, that's something you might want to look into. RC Pro Am. Neat little sports game. You run around with your little RAMs. There are, this one promotes that there's 32 tracks of racing on it. I'm not a big racing fan. This one's kind of fun to play. Um, I also enjoyed the Micro Machine game that came out on the Nintendo. That's something else you might want to look for. Um, if you're into racing games and you want to feel that old school racing, Art Pro R. Pro-AM is your way to go. And, so there's already four they sent me. So they gave me a one-up. This box, they always send you four, if, if that's the one you order. You can order a bigger box. I ordered the four. You can order the four, the ten, and I think there's a big one for like $100 a month for like 20 games a month. I, I just don't have that kind of money and dedication. Um... So I got the four that I was expecting, and then inside I got a card. Unfortunately, I threw it away. I don't have it in here anymore. It said one up, which means they gave me a free game to go with my packaging. You can get all the way up to a three up, um, which is amazing that they do that. Um, with, with the other one, you just don't know what you're getting. They promise four to, 
I think six, but I have gotten eight at one point. Um, it depends on what they're sending you. Um, this is the same price as this one, about $40 a month. Um, they sent me Super Battle Tank on the Sega, um, the Sega Game Gear, still wrapped in its factory seal. So, which is great. It's, it's great to have a factory seal game. Um, what's not so great is when I looked upon this box, and I'll try to show you as best I can here. The graphics on the box looks like they took a picture with a camera at a TV to show you what the game looked like. You know what I mean? Like they didn't use the graphics itself. It's like they used a, a, a second way around it. It's not, it's kind of kind of um, defocused. The image on the front is about the same way. It looks like a picture that was taken with another camera and then taken again to show you what the, what the tank looks like. Um, I wanted to go through at one point in some of these videos on the graphic arts of the boxes. I have a bunch of box games and uh, we'll, we'll come back to the way they do stuff. Um, I have yet to open it. I have watched a review because if it's factory seal, I'm, like factory seal, I'm not going to pry into it. Um, the game is your basic tank game where you see out the front of the tank and you have to slowly move the tank back and forth, the aim and fire. Um, those who like the new game Tanks, I think it's just called Tanks, might enjoy something like this if you want to go back in time to see what Tanks would have been um, way back when, when the Game Gear was popular. Um, it's It looks interesting. Not my type of game. I'm more of a platformer. Um, but definitely happy for that. Uh, game Gear is a new thing I'm collecting. Um, I never owned a Game Gear when I was younger. I was a Game Boy fan. Um, so when I found the Game Gear at my local store, um, the Vault Video Games, uh, which uh, we have talked about before on here, um, I was happy to find it. Um, it it's, game Gears are very hard to find working. Um, I have found plenty of game gears, but usually the, the screen doesn't light up anymore or the, the um, speakers crackle and they don't work anymore. And to refurbish them is a little costly. Um, but when I went in there, they already had a refurbish, so the, 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 the screen has been updated with an LED light and the speakers have been updated with new speakers. Um, it still works fine. Um, so I was happy to add that to my console collection. Still looking for that um, that uh, Virtual Boy for the Nintendo, though. That one's still a little sneaky, getting away from me. And when I do find it, not within my price range. So we went through our boxes. We had a little bit of wording about the games. The boxes themselves, um, I still love the Retro Treasure, but Video Games Monthly did give me more for what I paid for. Um, when I did the values on each of these games, um, I found that more came out of the video game monthly. Now, now the video game monthly only did that because they gave me that extra game. Now, if I did the four and four, even including the expensive game in here, um, it was more of an even match. So that would be more up to your priority if you get the chance to get the one up now. This is actually, I, I thought it was my first, this is actually my second one. I do remember getting one before I had the, the poker chip, that's where I was thinking of it. That one I also got a one up one, so I have yet to get a box without at least an extra game. Um, retro game treasure, um, I have gotten one or two boxes I was disappointed in where I opened it up and it gave me three games when I was promised four. Um, and they were all not very expensive. Now, I don't really care myself because I collect more and I worry about value, but for those who are value hunting, these boxes are probably not your friend. These boxes are your buddy and your friend when you're first starting to collect, when you're first starting to get that pile up, or if you're like myself who hates to run around and purchase those $5 games because you see them everywhere, these guys will help you fill those little gaps in so you can spend your money hunting down that $60 game in the box that you really want. They are a little pricey. Again, with shipping, they're $40. Retro comes out of your bank account every month around the 10th. 
Video Games Monthly comes out every month on the 1st. So, if you're like myself who gets paid weekly, that's kind of nice. I don't have to worry about them both coming out at the same time. I always get the Video Games Monthly uh, around the middle of the month and the Retro Ray at the end of the month. Now, Video Games Monthly, if you join them on their Facebook, um, they will tell you when they send the games out. And all right, so this one here I got um, toward the beginning of the month, and this one I got toward the end of the month. Um, this one gave me a little bit of problems because the postal service was holding a whole bunch of them in one postal, and I guess they were just having problems shipping it. I ended up having to contact them and ask them to make sure it was coming. Um, so if you order this one and it comes late, don't be too surprised. It's not their fault. It's, it's just they send all of these boxes to one post office at one time, I think. And then the post office just has a hard time sorting through. Um, so, like I said, if you're a hardcore collector and you're just looking for those last couple games, these are not your friends. Go out there, put them down on Facebook or however, or, um, eBay, and um, get them the way you normally. If you're a beginning collector, starting a new collection of a system, or you hate purchasing those little $5 games on your own because you feel like, oh, I could get that any time. These guys will, will fill in those gaps. Um, they will send you those little cheaper games. Value-wise, I have really not received too many of these where I don't feel like I've got my money's worth. Now, they are here to make money. So I do not count the extra money for shipping and handling toward my value. I only count what I pay for the boxes. So technically, each box only cost me thirty some dollars. Um, the other ones that got it up above forty was all shipping. So I do not count that. That is not not on them. So this box, I believe, this month when I did that, the um, the one game got me above forty dollars. This one, Captain America, was was a twenty five dollar game on its own by itself. So the other ones were all like five to eight dollars, but then when I, which was I was worrying because I was going those, and then I got to the Captain America on the Sega, and I looked it up, and I average my prices on eBay where people are selling things. Um, there are a couple websites you can check out as well um, that people look at, but I, I average it what I see on eBay, and um, they, I found that the Captain America by itself with no box or booklet is going about twenty to twenty-five dollars. So I believe I made my money worth here and here. Um, I have run into months where I definitely did not come even close to making my money's worth, but I got games I did not own. So for me, as a collector, it was worth more than the fact that they were valued. Because they were games also I hadn't seen before. Now, what I was going to say for this one is I'm, I'm happy with these guys because they sent me one game from each of the systems I asked. They sent me a Game Gear game, a Sega game, a Super Nintendo game, and an NES. That impressed me. This one, now I have in my instructions, and you can tell them certain things that I am an NES collector. So they tend to try to send me at least one NES game, which that I'm happy about. And they sent me two this time. But I kind of noticed they don't like sending me Super Nintendo games. And I'm trying to kind of get that collection going. But they do like to send me Sega games. So they might be more of my Sega collector. Um, Super Nintendo games are starting to raise in value a lot right now. So if you're a Super Nintendo collector, good for you. If you're a Super Nintendo starter collector, not so good for me. Um, so again, the boxes are great. I uh, personally would promote both of these. I actually do promote one. I promote that one. Like I said, you can use the code CRIMSON and get 10% off um, on, a, on a box there. Um, Video Game Monthly really doesn't do promote co codes, so I don't know if I could do something on there. If you get these, let me know and let me know what you get on there. I will also tell you to join their Facebooks if you do, because if you post what you get in here, you have a chance of winning games as well for free. Um, they also do special little things. Um, Video Games Monthly does a joke box um, where you open the box and it might be all Mary Kate and Ashley games. And you'll get your normal box too. Don't worry, you're not going to get screwed out of your normal one. But you might get a whole box full of just weird, funny games. Um, they usually do it around April for April Fools. Uh, retro games do some odd, um, some oddities. Uh, they do what's called the boss box. Uh, it'll look like this, 
but it'll be bigger and it'll have a big boss key on the front um, lock, kind of like the Legend of Zelda ones. And inside there, you will win things such as um, full consoles. Uh, they did a Dreamcast one one month where they gave away a Dreamcast if you won the, the Monster Box. Uh, I have yet to receive the Monster Box or any of these special little ones they do. I know they do a Christmas one too, which is really cool, um, along with your normal one. So I would, I would definitely, if you're a collector like myself, I, I have still kept both of them so, since one charges you at the beginning of the month and the other one charges you in the middle. That works well with my paychecks. If I had to decide and say I'm going to keep one, I'd probably still stick with the retro because I've had them for so long. But I am swaying more with video games market each month. Again, let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, maybe uh, this month let's go with uh, favorite Disney games since uh, we got The Lion King. Uh, my favorite Disney game is DuckTales on, this, on the NES. Um, a friend of mine behind the camera, what is your favorite? Toy Story. Toy Story. Yeah, I love the RC racing. There we go. Toy that's Story the one. on the... Sega Dreamcast, yeah. there we Best go. One. I used to play it, can never beat the racing game, the racing part, terrible at it. That's great. That is Disney's big thing. Who do they promote to? You know it's for children, but the game is so hard you're not getting anywhere. I think Disney had a little confusion in their game department. But let me know which one's your favorite, and I'll catch you next time. Remember, you play for fun, not for graphics. I'll catch you then.